Hi beauties! I am going to be doing a milk bath nail set and I'm using a milk bath acrylic powder that I'm not too familiar with. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I'm doing what I always do. I'm putting a crystal clear down on top of all of the nails. I always do this when using tips as it just seems to make the acrylic powder adhere better and look at the beautiful nail mate bestie brush by glitter planet she's such a pretty brush love 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 all the brushes from glitter planet but she's definitely beautiful she comes with a lid as well i never use the lid i think a lid is better for um mobile techs um it's just so hard to get that lid on just right so you don't mess your bristles up so yeah beauties i hope you enjoy watching me do this set um and i'm using real dried flowers so they are a little chunky i was going to try to flatten them down with a book but i don't know i thought i'm gonna keep them a little chunky I want them to kind of pop through a little bit more of a dramatic set. I normally smash my flowers down when they're the real dried flowers. But yeah, I'm just going in, putting them down on the acrylic I just laid down. If your flowers are not laying down, all you need to do is get a little piece of acrylic just pick up a small little bead and lay it down and um, use your brush to kind of flatten it down what actually works amazing for this i just didn't think before i started is using a plastic bag or a piece of saran wrap the plastic bag to me works better like a sandwich bag um, when they're just about you know you're they're laid on there i just take the plastic sandwich bag and I apply pressure on top of the entire flower or embellishment that I'm laying down and just hold, hold a little pressure and that seems to do the trick but of course now that I'm taping I'm going to struggle a bit <laughs> why do I think of these things later but yes that is my big trick and what I do 99.9% .9 of the time so I don't know why I didn't do it tonight um, but I use a sandwich bag to press these down. Now, if you're using the little Fomojis, those are real thin. They don't need it. This is for thicker flowers, um, embellishments that might be having trouble laying down. The thicker ones with odd shapes. Just apply the sandwich bag on it and it works wonderfully. So I recorded this the other night and I'm just doing my voiceover today and going to upload it but tomorrow I will be putting a video up and it's going to be showing off bits and I'm going to do a little small infill on myself using I'm going to use the mermaid flakes and inks Trey's nails design did a stunning set and i using the inks and the mermaid flakes and i'm like i want to try that that looks absolutely stunning it gives it like a cracked glass look so i will be putting that up tomorrow i'm going to be doing the live on the glitter planet facebook community group so if you're not in that group beauties join the group join the group it's lots of fun positive vibes all day long but now you'll see me, I'm just adding another flower. So I'll just go ahead and let you watch and I will come on in when um, needed and tell you what I'm up to. Um, I'm not using the milk bath powder yet, but I will be as soon as I get all my little flowers just where I want them. And as I said, I want this to be kind of an extreme flower set. So I'm going to not I'm gonna try not to smash them down too much. I want you to be able to see the detail of the, the flowers. 
isn't she pretty look at this pink one oh my gosh colors 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 and i'm trying to leave the veins that i i don't know i think it looks so pretty when you can see the vein the the stem the veins the stem traveling down the nail so i am fingers crossed praying that this milk bath is absolutely gorge and it'll it will allow you know be just the right consistency and color to do that slight milk bath cover but you know allow you to see what's underneath and i decided i was going to do an ombre on some but i thought i'm doing the whole nail we are going to do this 100 percent all milk bath all the way from the top to the bottom and yes babes i'm putting that pink one right at the tip I sure am because she's so gorgeous. Look at her. Look at her. All right, babes. Enjoy watching my video. Thank you for all the love and support. I really appreciate it. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe. My goal is to reach a thousand. And when I reach a thousand, I can do lives on YouTube and on my bucket list, as much as many of you know. I really want to receive a certificate or a check from YouTube and frame it. You know, I thought that would be so cool. I still will, of course, continue to do these videos because I absolutely adore all of you. And I, I just have so much fun doing them. That is why I want to reach a thousand. I adore lives. And the re reason I like lives is you can chit chat with each other. So if you have questions, you can ask me and, um, they're just so much fun. They really are. Uh, so um, lives are great. I can go on live now, like when I did the drawing for my winner. But it's so grainy. Laptop, they're an app, and there's. It, it's just so. The picture's very bad. Um, I'm not seeing comments that well. It's just different than when I'm doing a live on Facebook. So. Let's get me to a thousand. Share my share my videos, please. And oh my gosh, look at her. Look at her. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm praying this milk bath allows these flowers to just lightly cover them yet. See these vibrant colors pop. Look at that. See, I took it typically. I typically would smash that rose down. But I don't know. I kind of like the way she looks like that. So I'm just going to leave her. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. All right, babes. Enjoy the video. Mwah. Love you all. You'll notice that I'm going in with smaller, wetter beads of this milk bath. Um, she's a little bit wider than I expected. So I'm trying to keep my beads small and wet. Um, so it's a little messy to work with here, but I'm making her happen. Um, but that is why these beads look this way. I'm trying to go small and wet just to downplay the white tone in the in this milk bath. Um, I have never found the, I don't want to say I've never found, I actually create my own milk bath 
I have um, my own little powder mix when doing milk bath sets. So I get absolutely crazy and excited when a new milk bath color comes out. Um, you know, saves you from mixing up your own. And if I'm correct, I want to say that Glitter Planet is working on a milk bath color. They're perfect pink. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait for it to launch. Lorna has been using it in a lot of posts and oh, I'm so excited for that color. But I've heard that they are um, from Lorna working on a milk bath. So, oh my gosh, I know it's going to be amazing because everything they come out with is absolutely phenomenal. And I don't just say this because, I'm amb because I am an ambassador and mediator of Glitter Planet. I was using Glitter Planet for years before I became part of the team. And as many of you know, when she asked me to be part of the team, I said, yes, um, everything they come out with, it's like, oh my gosh, it's phenomenal. It's truly phenomenal. And actually the bits that I'm going to be using in my live tonight are new bits, um, three new bits that they are, I think launching today or tomorrow. And, um, I've already done, you know, used it on one of my hands cause I want to see how they work and they are phenomenal. So I'm really excited to get on the live tonight and show you on my other hand and then do the infill with the pretty mermaid flakes and inks. Yes, I'm so excited. So um, one other thing, when you order any products from Glitter Planet, you can use my code Garcia5. It'll give you a savings at discount. Please know that I earn nothing from you using my code. It simply is a way for you to save money. Yes, Glitter Planet sends me products, um, but that's to, you know, show all you beauties. And, um, but I'm not receiving a check, so I do not push my code out there for, you know, as if it's a way I'm making money. I'm not. It's a way for you to save, for Lorna to know that, oh, Rebecca, I see her code. <laughs> These beauties are from Rebecca. So, yeah, definitely use my code, Garcia5, all caps, and that's at Glitter Planet. And if you have any questions about anything, just comment below. You know I answer all comments. I make it a part of my day to answer comments. And I'm sorry if I'm ever slow at it, but I read every single one of those comments. So of course I'm going to respond. I love hearing from you beauties. I so do. Oh my gosh, I'm just infatuated with this pink. Now I do have a lot, a lot more flowers coming on the way. They're very daisies and daffodils and um, so I definitely am going to be doing another milk bath set later in the future and I will use my mix um, that I have created or if Glitter Planet has already came out with theirs I will use theirs because uh, milk bath sets are so beautiful. They truly are. Even if you just do two or three nails of the milk bath and then you know you can do a marble on one nail ombre on another they're just so stunning um and you can always add you know your stones or 3d artwork on the top but um i decided for these to do full milk baths on these three nails just to you know show you i had a request for milk bath so of course i went ahead and am doing this video because all of my videos are on request. So if there's anything you want to see, comment underneath and I'll add it to the list. I know I have so many videos to do, so please do not think that I haven't seen your request. And I'm definitely, definitely going to do all of the requests that have been asked of me. But um, if you do have a new request, just comment below what it is you'd like to see and I will do it. All right, beauties, enjoy watching the video.
On this nail right here, I thought with the feather, I'm going to add a little glitter. Um, I absolutely love, love, love applying a light glitter or flake on the milk bath as it looks so stunning when it pops through. But I'm a little worried as I'm doing this, as I noticed how um, overpowering this milk bath is. So this, not too sure if, if this is gonna show through. Maybe I should have put mylar, but mylar, uh, I don't like putting my, too, too much mylar with flowers. Um, so yeah, I'm just adding a little light lavender glitter and then I'm gonna apply just a light um, semi pinkish opal glitter as well but as I said I'm just having this feeling it's not gonna come through so <laughs> but hey just go with it that's I'm having fun doing this that's all that matters you know don't overthink have fun if something doesn't come out right just fix it and one little saying I always have is glitter fixes everything so in the end, if the nail does not look the best, cover it with glitter and it will look beautiful. But yeah, I'm just applying some glitter here. Um, you can see the two nails to the left are, um, the pinks are showing, the orange is showing, um, and or the coral I guess is showing, but I'm hoping when I file these down that maybe the green leaves will fern will pop a little bit more but hey we're just having fun right and doing some milk bath nails I'm pinching I almost forgot to pinch so I'm pinching now pinch 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 those sets beauties it will save you filing time to where all you have to do is a light shape on the sides and buff on the top and you are done plus pinching on a if you're doing your clients or your own hand it really helps everything set in place so um, I've said it a million times I have a video on why I pinch how to pinch when to pinch but it really does add support to the structure and just secures everything nice and tight to the sides as well it slims everything down nice and pretty it will not create a c-curve you know a lot of beauties say oh I don't want to pinch because I don't want to get a c-curve now if you want a c-curve Yes, when sculpting a set, the harder you pinch towards the tip, the more of a C-curve you will achieve. But if you don't want a deep C-curve, all you need to do is pinch on the sides and just apply light pressure at the top. But as I said, that's if you are sculpting. So it happened beauties with one coat of this milk bath it completely covered up the glitter um, I can't see it at all and my little fern my little um, light peach little leaf that I put on there I'm not seeing it as well or the the flower that I put there towards the cuticle area so this might be one of those nails that I cover in glitter glitter makes everything better right oh my goodness enjoy watching the video beauties also I want to quickly add that I do encapsulate all of these with a crystal clear I will do that before um, buffing and quickly filing the sidewalls with the metal nail file. Always encapsulate with crystal clear, babes.
So off camera, I just used my metal nail file, touched up the sides, used my buffer, buffed the tops real quick, and now I'm just dusting everything off with my Unicorn Gorgeous Dust Brush by Glitter Planet. I call her Miss Unicorny. <laughs> my granddaughter, when I talk to my grandbabies, everything ends with the E E E. So that's Miss Unicorny. She's so pretty. Yes, she is. And I'm going to go in with the Glitter Planet Super Gloss No Wipe Top Coat. And let's see how these beauties come to life. As I said on the last finger there, furthest to the right. Oh my goodness, excuse me. Um, it covered up mostly everything. I can only really see, look, I'm applying it. I can only see the pink at the top and a tiny little bit of that purple, but in a little slither of the white, but everything else is covered. So that's gonna be a glittered covered nail. Yes, it is. She's gonna be covered in glitter. These, you can see um, the colors do come through, but I'm definitely going to apply some crystals and a little flower 3D effect just to make them a little bit more fancy. But yeah, beauties, I then I'll just cure in the lamp for 60 seconds. And um, after that, I will apply some crystals, some glitter, a few flowers, and this set is will be complete. I will include pictures at the end. I hope all of you beauties enjoyed watching this video, and I will definitely, definitely be doing another one in the future um, using one of my milk bath mixes I have, and we'll use more flowers. And yeah, this is a finished look. Well, not yet quite finished. We're gonna cover that little beauty in glitters and the other two are gonna get a little. There we go. Never lose your sparkle beauties. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you for watching.